Business owners of Reddit, what's the most obnoxious reason an employee quit had to be fired over? My dad and I ran a business together cleaning out foreclosed homes for a real estate agency as I was finishing high school. I was a senior, so I got out at lunchtime and we could usually get a house done in a half day. Sometimes we'd get some bad ones, and we had a few guys that we would call to see if they wanted to make a quick hundred bucks for a day's work. On my literal last day of class my dad picked up one of our usual guys and got one house about 90% done by lunch. He was a pretty normal guy that we had never had any trouble with. The guy we paid to help my dad went out to the truck and came back into that house with a gun and robbed my dad of his wallet and took his keys and left in our truck. Funny thing is my dad only had the cash he was about to give him an hour later for finishing up the house. The state police got the guy's number from us, and they told him some bogus story about how my dad was being investigated for not paying his workers, and if met them with the truck they would get his statement and let him go. Idiot pulls up, and gets arrested on the spot. He got 8 years in prison. I had a subcontractor on a job for my company try and convince the client that they should dump me and go with their business and they would undercut me by 10%. Learned this from the client, who asked me to find another person to service our contract. Employee had corporate card. Charged a vacation, purse, fossil watch, takeout, along with overall, being miserable to work with. Had laptop stolen within weeks of joining. Fired her, and a few days later a watch catalog from fossil, showed up at the office with her name on it. Have active court cases for all the theft. We had a young it intern helping with some hardware inventory tasks. It wasn't uncommon for laptops not to make it back to us as projects would hold them from terminated employees, but one day we noticed his backpack open and a laptop of model we used sticking out. Sent him to the other side of the building, and checked the serial number and yep, it was one he reported as missing during a recent inventory. Opportunistic theft is one thing, but bringing it back into the office every day. Just. Wow. I'm not a business owner, but I'm a student manager. Acker I don't really have the ability to fire someone, but I had to in this case. This one kid was trouble to say the least, and I asked him to go check the bathrooms, to make sure they were clean slash stocked. When he asked about the woman's room, I said just to knock and make sure nobody was inside. Apparently he banged on the door and screamed, in his very deep voice, who in here? Everybody get out he then entered the bathroom where a poor little elderly woman was inside the stall, and continued to bang on the stall yelling get out. He was yelling so loud I actually heard him, and went to investigate. The poor woman was whimpering and calling the police, and he just was the kind of person who had no idea how he came across. There was many weird issues but this obviously topped the cake, and I told him he was done, and needed to go home. The poor old woman was so upset that she refused to leave the bathroom, and I had to call her son for her. Not a business owner, but, at a previous job we had issues with food being stolen from the break room fridge. The company made a big stink about it, and it kept happening, so they very obviously installed security cameras in the break room. Like big freaking cameras in plain sight, pointing at the fridge, with our bosses being very direct about there is the camera, you really want to lose your job over eating some own sandwich, few days later guy gets fired for stealing food. Literally on camera just grabbing people's lunch out of the fridge and eating it. Don't own a business, but work on employee claims and lawsuits. I've told this story on here before. A guy filed a discrimination complaint against the company after he got fired for stealing hot dogs from the refrigerator. This warehouse big company this was not at my location. Kept a stock of hot dogs for employee appreciation picnics usually weekly cookouts. No one knew why they were disappearing. So announcements were made and all employees were asked to not eat the hot dogs and if they wanted some they could ask but couldn't have several packs. That didn't work, so warnings were announced. Finally a camera was installed near the refrigerator, and he got caught red-handed. He was just practically inhaling the hot dogs directly from refrigerator the by the packs. After he was fired, he filed a discrimination claim on the basis of disability due to his weight. I sent the response with a video of him eating the hot dogs. Also, he couldn't prove his weight was a disability under the adder and weight is not a protected class. We won that claim. 
My dad owned his own business working as a color corrector slash editor. He had this one employee who had been there since day one and ended up becoming similar to an assistant manager. My dad owned that company for 10 plus years and just recently he had to fire the assistant manager because apparently he was telling employees and customers that my dad hates gays, people who aren't white, his kids, his whole family, that he's a terrible person, etc. Basically driving all business away, pushing my dad's company towards bankruptcy. Turns out he was a narcissistic sociopath. My dad's just sad his employees never trusted him enough to tell him about what this guy would say to them. Had a guy on a location fake an injury. Now mind you, he did injure himself severely accidentally, but that wasn't his plan. His plan had been to fake a minor injury and get put on workers camp. The problem was he screwed up how to do it, and ended up hurting himself severely. You ask how, did you know he was trying to fake injure himself? Well that's very easy to explain. We had a 20 minute tape of him hiding behind one of the trucks on the work site practicing his fall. Then a written confession from friends saying, that had been planning it, since the day we hired him. Tool and I shop owner here. One of our machinists would go out for lunch and slam back 3 to 4 beers every day. When I found out I told him he can't drink beer at lunch. He said it was his time and what he did at lunch was his business, not mine. The next day he came back from lunch smelling like beer, I'll let him go on the spot. A few years later he showed up in my office asking for his old job back. He said that he was an alcoholic back then, and was sorry for his behavior. He was now sober, and needed a job. I hired him on the spot, and it worked out great for 5 or 6 years. Then he started drinking again, and I had to let him go a second time. I have no idea how he is doing now, but I often wonder. He was a great machinist and a nice guy, when he was sober. I used to do some consulting work, and hired a woman to help out. Mostly clerical stuff and whatnot. I flew down to St. Thomas for a meeting, and got a call from Sonitrol at 10.30pm. She had keys to my building, but didn't know about the alarm. Basically, she and her boyfriend brought another couple down, to have a foursome in one of my offices I had converted to a bedroom, where I could crash, if I worked late. So I called her. She answered mid coitus and acted normal, albeit a little tipsy. I talked about a few mundane details I needed to relay to her anyways, and then mentioned to make sure she only was ever at the office between 700 am and 700 pm, since there was a silent alarm that that would call me with audio of activities in the building. When I got back in town her keys were sitting on my desk. Medical clinic. An employee told a patient he wants to know what she tastes like. Doesn't get much worse. Back when I had my translation business, I hired a guy to seek out contracts for me and pay him 20% finder's fee. Instead of sending the finished project to a client, he accidentally sent naked pictures of himself. I learned of it when my client forwarded me the mail half an hour later, including the multiple glorious seek shots. I don't ev. I fired a guy because he said he cold not come to work because it was raining. And he had just washed his car the day before. Woman was using company FedEx to deliver purses for her Etsy shop. I worked for a boutique hotel you know, small, cute, expensive as an ops manager. Basically, unless the area manager had to come in, I was the law. I get a frantic call on my downtime from an employee claiming our overpass guy tried to assault him. I have a sigh, as the guy freaking out is notorious for being a drama I load up the security camera on my home PC, go to the time frame, and holy shoot. Our night guy legitimately lunged at his co-worker, and tried to strangle him. Luckily a desk was between them, and that gave the victim time to bolt. Instantly felt like a deck for doubting him. Well, this is when I call in the area manager. We show up at the as crack of dawn and speak with the dude who made the attack, and he claims he didn't do it. We show him the video, and I shoot you not he responds with, I don't recall the events of that evening. We fired him on the spot. What started the fight you ask? Well, the victim had done extra work, to make the attacker's shift easier. The attacker felt like this was an insult to his work ethic. Oh, and I got multiple reference requests from similar hotels asking for a good reference. I simply said I wasn't able to provide a positive reference, as legally that was all I could say. 
I used to own a bakery and a woman quit because she blamed her yeast infection on a bad batch of yeast I bought from China. I may be a guy, but I don't think that's how it works. Not an owner, but in a supervisory role. We had a driver that refused to drive at night, claiming it wasn't safe. She was third shift. Her role was driver. This was all that was expected of her. Do the 3 to 7 trips a month that happen between 9pm and 5am. This was after her pleading to be put on third shift. Our director at the time was shady slash incompetent not sure which so this went on for 6 months longer than it should have. The one that instantly jumps to mind was the woman who was fired day 2 of a call center training course because she wouldn't stop touching herself. Not sure how she got through our screening. This was for a wireless phone company too, not a chat line or anything. Edit, since people requested details. It was really somewhat sad. She was late 30s, early 40s and I don't think this was an employment scam or anything of the like and more likely just a mental compulsion or drugs. It was really not that subtle, but done under a shawl slash scarf thing draped over her lap. Politely and quietly asked to stop by the trainer then stop momentarily, but started up again 15 to 20 minutes later. Obligum not the business owner as well it was a multinational corp, but really they don't get the best stories anyway. I regret nothing. Pawn shop employee stole $400 from the cash register, then realized that there were video cameras. He had no idea where the security footage was stored so, in order to cover his tracks he set the store on fire. He actually ended up getting pretty badly burned in the process, and went to jail right after the hospital. I used to manage a store in the mall. One of my employees, I'm pretty sure, was cheating on her husband with a mall security guard. I would come by on my days off, and head scurry out in a fluster. I never mentioned it, but the guy was coming by all the time to the point that it was keeping her from doing her job. Finally, we had a work meeting. And I said in a very non-accusatory way, something like this, I know it gets slow in here during the week, and I'm guilty of it myself, but from now on I need everyone to keep personal visits to a minimum, or during your lunch break. She stands up, and starts screaming at me, how dare I accuse her, I'm a beach, she quits. She continued to call me, and leave me harassing voicemail for a while too. Not my business but my dad's. He hired predominantly people with criminal records and literally all they had to do was inspect rental cars for damage as the cars left the lot and keep their noses clean. You could do pretty much anything you wanted on your downtime with no complaints from my dad, as long as he didn't get any complaints from the owners of the car lot. One day one of the supervisors for the car lot I worked for walks out and asks me for my dad's number. Supervisor had caught a guy stealing gas from the property, he even had security camera footage of it happening. Dude was instantly fired. My wife and I started a small software company 20 years ago. She's the manager and does sales and hours. I do the programming. Anyway we hired a programmer one time and the first day on the job I spent the whole morning with him going over our development philosophy, how we do source control etc, and then showed him an overview of our applications, and how we build them. Along the way he was highly critical, pointing out what he considered flaws and everything. After lunch he goes back in to see my wife. He obviously didn't know we were married we don't share surname, and at work we keep pretty much to ourselves. He says to my wife you know how to fix this company, you need to fire that other guy. We still laugh about that one. We hired someone to do video slash photo media work. After a certain point he felt it was selling out and didn't want to do media commercially. He wanted to do business stuff. We asked him which role he would like. If he picked his role, we'd try it out. If he didn't, he would quit. He decided to quit. He couldn't come up with a role. The company I work is a contractor for a giant corporation and we go to different stores to do work. This new guy we hired seemed normal at first, but it turned out he was a complete freaking idiot. So one day, he goes on site with one of the senior employees to shadow him. This genius thought that, because we did work for the giant corporation we could just eat anything off the shelves, and from the refrigerators free. Well employee saw this, and was like WTF are you doing you need to pay and manager comes. This guy then started fighting with the manager then got in his car after and drove off. Needless to say his ass was fired the next day.